have 10,000 pieces of glass in the Henry Ford. This is the Davidson Gerson Gallery of Glass, which shows you 300 years of American glass making and glass history, from the beginnings of American glass through the present. And there are many unique pieces in this exhibit that we own and no other institution owns in the world. From the earliest American glass through press glass, and that's a really important American innovation. There is a tin lantern made in the 1830s, and it's the only surviving example of a press glass window in its original context. By the mid part of the 19th century, America was the world's premier glass maker. We look at how glass was used in the household environment. Victorians loved to show things off. So we have imported glass, and we have high-end glass in there, cut glass specifically. And then we move on to art glass, which is really part of showing off, but it's unique because it uses technical innovation. During the early 1890s, Louis Comfort Tiffany pioneered a technology that made glass iridescent, meaning that it shines and shimmers in light, and people loved it. He made pieces as simple as household wares like glassware, up through really wild things like light fixtures. It was part of a movement called the Art Nouveau, and the Art Nouveau was about producing sinuous, organic shapes and forms. Tiffany took that idea and that aesthetic and made it his own into something that was uniquely his, uniquely American, but it was also then universal because the technology became so ubiquitous. That glass was used for things like ketchup bottles. We have a huge Heinz collection here. Ice cream parlor wear, Pyrex. And then some of my personal favorites are the tumbler sets that people used in the 50s, 60s, and 70s in their households. And then we jump right into studio glass. Almost every major figure represented in this gallery. Talking about the earliest studio glass, the technical innovation of studio glass, and how it became a major art form in the last quarter of the 20th century in America into the 21st century. That's the broad sweep of glass in American society. People can see how it informed early American history and became part of American culture in the 19th century. And that truly is what this gallery is about.